the old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. In their place came new life.
My father saved my life. He told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. This tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. <laughs> Hello everyone out there in the wasteland. On today's show I want to talk to you about... Our world. you see now is a very scary place. Democracy, equality, and freedom all died when the bombs fell, and we've been walking on their ashes ever since. Especially here in Colorado. The three children of our patriarch are even more ruthless than he is. We live in a society built on violence. But it wasn't always like this. Over a hundred years ago, everything was different. I believe we can get back there if we fight this oppression. If we are fearless against the evils of the world, we can be everything we were in 1987. Our show for the day. Tune in tomorrow when we're going to talk about the dangers of cannibalism. Can't you see this is the land of confusion? You see things others can't. Hear threats others don't. Fight when others won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo.
On December 24, 2030, a global blackout occurred. The world lost access to electricity and consequently, the internet and communication. A global conflict followed. Treaties were broken in a matter of hours. Guns, medicine and food became the new currency. Governments fell, and economic growth ground to a halt as survival and protection became the sole necessities. Struggles for dominance continued for years, as ordinary citizens battled against famine, disease, nature, and each other. But various groups still attempted to salvage what humanity they could, creating enclaves of survivors. We soon discovered that a few of our emergency satellites still worked, and with a bit of tinkering, we were able to connect them for communication. We used this to our advantage, locating other survivors around the world who had discovered the same method. Their suffering was no less terrible than ours, but their spirits were just as strong. Once the conflicts had calmed down, 
survivors started returning to the cities to revive a normal lifestyle. This was a mistake. Law had been abandoned. Justice was subjective. Bloodthirsty, merciless gangs ruled the streets and could only be fought with mutual intensity. But we knew we had to fight to restore peace, to restore civilization. We knew we had to venture forth into the nightmarish remains of our past and attempt to stabilize the world. And this is what we did.